guys, welcome to another video with me. Today I'm going to be showing you guys a commentary version of a music video I worked on for the band Tree Frog Express. So about a month ago, my old friend Thomas, he reached out to me and asked if I'd be interested in doing a storyboard style music video for him and his new band. I accepted the project. Uh, I was very excited to work on a music video. It was a project that I've actually been wanting to work on for a while. I've always wanted to work um, on a music video in some shape or form, so this was my opportunity to do that. So before I started the project, um, to give me a better idea of what exactly I will be creating, Thomas created a document that he sent me through Google Docs, which ended up being the most important tool throughout this entire process. Um, on the document, he would have specific timestamps and how long each scene would be and a full-on description of what that scene is um, telling or what that scene is showing. The main characters in the music video, you have the main character and the somewhat villainous figure, which we called the entity, and then his followers, which were uh, called demons. Uh, they, there were no names, it was all very, um, it was all pretty vague, but he provided uh, specific photo references. So for the main character, he wanted me to reference um, like an anime version of himself. With that in mind, I took a lot of inspiration from uh, the manga Death Note, as well as uh, the same artist, uh, but different book, it's called Bakuman. I really liked the shading and the amount of detail that was put into every comic strip, so I reference that a lot. And then for the entity, um, he sent me several images of like a dark cloaked figure with a white mask. He also sent me images of those old um, medicine man masks, and I did a combination of all of them. We did... Uh, do a variations of that because originally he wanted the entity to be smiling in a menacing sort of way in a mocking uh, form towards the main character through some of the scenes and then we decided not to do smiling because it started to look like no face and it wasn't it was much more friendly than it was eerie and mysterious now on to the music video so for this first scene you have the main character in his room and the specific scene was just asking me to draw him dozing off to sleep, um, listening to music. So this one was really fun. This one actually used the most variety of brushes. I know it's really hard to see because it's really dark here, but when I was concepting the main character and the entity, kind of like how in a movie, an important character has their own theme song, I wanted these characters characters to have their own signature brushes. So for the transition, indicate that the main character is exiting the real world and entering the dream realm, decided to add in this cracked glass effect. The first scene where he is in the dream world, he is actually um, seeing people from his past and they appear to him all at once and he wanted them to be just the back of their heads because when they turn around, which will be in the next scene, it'll be a little more um, dramatic because they are actually past demons. For the next scene, um, we enter the entity for the first time. So because he is meant to have a more dramatic presence, a more dramatic entrance, and you can also hear that in the music transitions as well, because this is not a fully animated music video, I had to play around a lot with um, panning the camera left to right and zooming in and out to mimic the idea of movement. Even though these are still images, um, you still feel as though it is actually in movement. I did take inspiration from The Heartless from Kingdom Hearts, as well as demonic looking creatures that I used to draw. So throughout the music video, actually, after I would work on each individual piece in Photoshop, I would put it into iMovie and see it actually matched up perfectly with the drawing itself. Otherwise, I would uh, play around with the timing. I would 
have um, the art piece like go slower or I would change the zoom in and zoom out just to make sure that it matched the music because that was always the most important thing. So this scene where the entity is actually picking up the main character from uh, these overwhelming amount of demons, this is where you can see I gave the character signature brushes. So for um, the entity with a lot of watercolor brushes to kind of give him a ghostly effect before the main character's brushes mainly based off of manga shadings and fills. Um, I feel like this one was a little like hard to indicate what was going on but what happened was the main character he picked him up he essentially saved him dropping him in a cloud-like lake or a cloud-like river not lake. The demons actually symbolically represent um, demons like demons from his past like people from his past so it's showing him aging and it's showing him he's already faced these demons and um, he's already overcame them but like any human being, sometimes the past comes back to haunt you, right? This running sequence is actually inspired by the music video Clint Eastwood by The Gorillaz. So even though that music video is actually fully animated, there is actually, um, you look at Murdoch running, um, you actually see like these perfect poses and you have one pose of him running and all the artist did was invert it back and forth to kind of indicate a running motion. So that's where I got that inspiration from for the running scene. The main character is running towards the entity. Um, I used a watercolor absorption brush instead of a regular eraser in Photoshop um, to kind of indicate that the main character's energy is like repelling this dark energy. So he is actually running towards the entity. He is facing his demons. That this That's what this is symbolically representing. He is facing his demons. He is unafraid um, and unashamed. But when he finally reaches him, um, and it's specifically asked in the document that when he finally reaches him, he reaches his hand out and the entity dissipates in the air like black smoke. This is actually my personal favorite scene um, from the transition of him being in shock. As the music is fading out, you see the entity waving and his um, demon followers overwhelm the streets of the main character's neighborhood. Um, so for specifically for this scene, um, just like a little, just like a quick talk about lighting, depending on where the light source is, um, I like to have the light source kind of in the back, thinking where um, the moon is. And in this case, it would be the moon as well as street lights. So the light would be in the back. So the front figures that are closest to the window are the darkest and then um, I drew the figures and then I took that as a layer and I repeated it over and over again and um, reduced the opacity until it disappeared. And then as the music fades, um, the entire scene fades and only the window figure remains. Thank you guys for watching. Um, if you watched that entire thing, thank you so much. I hope you guys check out Tree Frog Express's YouTube channel, which, like I said, I linked down below so that you can watch it completely uninterrupted. The band has a lot more projects that they are excited to be working on and um, that I may be a part of as well. So follow them on Instagram, follow me on Instagram if you want to uh, get updates on future projects. I hope you guys have a great week and um, if you have any other questions, uh, leave them down below or feel free to message me on Instagram as well. Bye guys!